the last of this season's cashew fruits. Unlike most crops, farmers wait until they fall to the ground before harvesting. Ten years ago, these trees weren't worth the ground they were planted on. Today, as the price of the cashew nut increases, so do the number of plantations across the country. Since 2009, the production of cashew nuts in Ivory Coast has doubled. The industry has become more organised and prices are on the rise. From 2013, it's been a crop that's really changed. It's now that people have realised what an interesting crop this is. So the future of cashews is something I'm sure about. I have no fears, no fears whatsoever. The first mechanised cashew factory in Africa opened here in 2012, run by Olam, the biggest cashew processor in Ivory Coast. The government wants all processing to be done in the country within the next four years. It's a big vision, considering it only processes less than 10% at the moment. And most of it is done by hand, as you can see here. It's hot, dirty, difficult work. The oil in the cashew nut shell is corrosive, so the women who do the bulk of the country's processing have to wear protective clothing. If things would be mechanised, it would change our lives because production will increase and we will have time to do other things, to diversify, and it will avoid the irritation to our skin and all of that. It's slow work. And output here is far below India and Vietnam, the world's leading cashew processors. We don't think that 100% uh, is uh, realistic, but uh, we, we do think well, that we will reach 50% by 2020. Uh, that means around uh, 500,000 metric tons. This is a very, very good level of processing. The huge growth in cashew nut farming has already produced hundreds of thousands of jobs across the north of the country. It's hoped a boom in cashew processing will do the same thing.